This is 89.7 FM. Broadcasting live 24 hours a day. 89.7 FM. Yes, see how you can work for your money. Um, yeah, whatever that guy just said. <laughs> <laughs> this is the business bus. It's 31 after 6 and thank you for joining us. Um, if you have any questions for our guest who I'm about to reveal, you can WhatsApp us on 061 064 4171. You can also tweet at RMR897 and also go um, post on our Facebook page, RMR89.7 FM. So, right now in studio, we are joined by such a lovely lady. She's a student and she's also a blogger. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Fufu. Hi, Mom. How are you guys? Good and yourself? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> so, firstly, before we get into your blogging site, okay. so tell us what you study and why are you studying that? Oh, okay. I am currently doing a Bachelor of Social Science, mm -hmm. majoring in Organizational Psychology and Industrial Sociology, and I am also doing law. Um, why am I doing law? I'm doing law because I am op not only opinionated, but I think there's so much that needs to change about the world, mm -hmm. and I feel law gives me the power to do that, and I want to be able to help people. So that's why I'm doing law. <laughs> okay, so now, so um, when did you start blogging and why? I started blogging uh, this year, mm -hmm. <laughs> in February. Okay. Why? Uh, well, at the beginning of the year, uh, first of all, I failed law. <laughs> it crushed my soul. <laughs> it crushed my soul and I took, um, I made a decision mm -hmm. to take a break from it. And I needed inspiration. And I have so much to say about health, about beauty. And instead of boring my friends with all the details, I decided I would share it with the world. People that I wouldn't be able to get into contact with on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's just a platform for me to express myself, to share what I know, and hopefully to inspire the women and men out there. Okay, so what's the inspiration between be, um, with the name New Kid on the Block? Well, <laughs> um, I... Start, okay, I chose this name a couple of years ago, not for mm -hmm. blogging, it was for like my Instagram. And it was exam time, and I was listening to, I think it's this motivational speaker, I forgot his name. And mm -hmm. he was talking about how if you really want something the same way you'd want to breathe, you will work hard enough for it. And I was thinking to myself, I was thinking about the Martin Luther Kings, I was thinking about <laughs> all the inspirational people you know, I was thinking mm -hmm. about even Beyonce, and I was thinking, I want to be the new kid on the block, I want to be someone who makes an impact in the world. I don't mm -hmm. want to just live and, I don't know, ride the waves. Okay, and the content, you've got health, Hey, Kay. Um, my favorite one is obviously the part where you talk about your natural hair. <laughs> and you also have um, Feature Fridays where you um, include other, other people in your blog. So can you tell us a little bit more about the different segments and the contents that you have on your blog? Okay, so firstly, um, there's health, uh, which is the one thing that's most important to me. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Because I come from a medical background. My mother, mm -hmm. my family, they're mostly in the medical background. So I know the importance of health in life mm -hmm. and I think most of us go through life drinking as much sugar as we want to as mm -hmm. much caffeine as we want to and we actually don't think about the consequences of that mm -hmm. so I wanted to inspire people to eat healthy be healthy and doesn't necessarily have to be boring most people don't drink water because they say water doesn't taste great well there's a way to <laughs> drink water <laughs> there's a way to drink Guilty. water yeah <laughs> and then with hair care um I was one of the I still am mm -hmm. I'm very particular about my hair and uh, before I went natural, I've always had relaxed hair from, like, I think when I was 10 or mm -hmm. thereabouts. So I never actually kept my natural hair. And I think now that I look back at it, it's because I was so worried if I had short hair, if I had natural hair, I wouldn't be as pretty. I wouldn't be as beautiful. So after my boyfriend inspired me to cut my hair, I kept it uh, unbraided for a while because it was a challenge to myself. Mm -hmm. I wanted to feel beautiful with my hair naturally. I just... Yes, and then there's beauty. When I was in high school, um, I had the worst acne ever. And um, a couple of people always used to walk up to me and say the worst things. My one aunt um, once walked, she came over for a braai <laughs> back at home. And she, the first thing she says to me is, oh my goodness, why is it that as you're growing older, you're growing uglier, what's happening with your face? Mm. That time she's talking about acne, I just froze there on the spot. And this one guy in high school walked up to me this one time and says to me, 
you're so beautiful but maybe if you try to face wash that would get rid of your acne you would look better and all those those are things that affect your self-esteem those yes. are things that bring you down and as i was growing up i didn't have a platform where i could go and find help so i tried out different kinds of face washes and chemicals on my face and they didn't seem to help so now that i know better i know how to get rid of acne i know how to handle it i want to help someone else who could be going through the same things that i went through mm. and then feature friday can't be the only one that inspires people <laughs> <laughs> there's so many women i see on campus and men and um i think there's something about their confidence something about the way they are i find it inspiring myself and i think that um, they could inspire other people because I know I spend a ton of my time on YouTube and researching blogs and reading them and what these people have to say and I find it inspiring so I want other people who might not necessarily be good at writing or who aren't interested in the blogging world to inspire people through my platform so that's why I have I think that's everything <laughs> oh and then there was Truth Thursdays like I said I am very opinionated <laughs> And Truth Thursdays was kind of my way of saying my truth. So it's what I think about stretch marks. It might not be what you think or anyone else, but it's my truth. And I want, like I said, my platform is just me expressing myself. So, yeah. Mm. I, I, I've i seen that, uh, you know, you do offer like, you know, quite a bit of advice, like what you're saying. Like in terms of research, like how long does it usually take for you? Like, let's say you decide today that I'm going to tackle acne right uh for teenage girls or something like that like what's the what's the process well um first of all well if it comes to health or let's say acne like yeah. the example that you just gave it's there are different kinds of acne there are different kinds of skin types so i have to first i can't tackle it all at once because they're like okay if it's in an economics books there are different chapters it's like supply side demand and supply side <laughs> and what's the other one? Yeah. yeah the yeah, other yeah, one yeah. so um it can take me up to three to four hours doing the research the writing itself mm. doesn't take me long because i'm just it's like i'm talking to someone so that doesn't take me long that takes me 30 minutes it's the research itself and i've realized that some people um, myself included we're very visual people so I need to have pictures so picture taking doing the research on different kinds of acne what you can do because I start with the natural then I advise on what you can try when it comes to chemical products like the products you can get in pick and pay and spa and whatever shops mm. so I start with the natural because you can never react to natural things mm. but you can react let's say to a certain product so that's, it takes me about three to four hours if I'm going to write on a single topic, mm. depending on what it is. With health and beauty, it takes longer as opposed to fashion. Okay, cool. And in terms of writing, like, why was that important to you in the sense that nowadays blogging, you know, can be done on different platforms. People have mm. video blogs. People are doing, you know, uh, are incorporating some music here and there. What, like, why was writing you know your your sort of your point of departure for new kid on the block okay so i've always been an avid reader i like reading yeah and um when i was in high school i did literature uh. and <laughs> besides having done literature i have a problem communicating how i feel with people in person because if i was upset at you and you asked me how i was upset it once i start saying it it seems so minor it doesn't seem as important so if I can, when I write my feelings, I can express every single thing that I'm actually feeling. There's so many words to express how you feel, what you're thinking, as opposed to when you're just saying it to a person to take us hours, if yeah. I said cheese. So writing was important to me because of my literature background and because, hey, I want to be a lawyer. Where? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why writing was important to me. I am better at expressing myself on paper than I am in a, in person. Okay, cool. And the actual blog itself, I, I see that, you know, there have been some transitions. Because yeah. first we started off, it was, it was, uh, it was actually next kid on the block, yes. and then it became new kid on the block. When and why did we change? Well, first of all, um, in, when I started, right, yeah. remember when I was talking about my name, it was, um, new kid on the block yeah but when i decided to register my blog on wordpress a uh, new kid on the blog blog was taken yeah so i opted for next kid on the block because to me it's it's 
says the same thing. Yeah. And when I recently um, moved to a self-hosted word, it means that your blog is actually to .co.za. Yeah. It's bigger now. I have uh, way more followers. So I needed a space that could accommodate everyone. Yeah. I discovered that new kid on the blog was available. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to go to back OG. to that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yes. Okay, cool. And uh, who's actually reading your stuff? Because I'm sure you you've got analytics and all that stuff, and you know, in the comments section, like, who do you find is is the type of person who's reading your blog? Well, be- um, because of the different things that I talk about on my blog, yeah. it's a huge number. Of, there are different kinds of people that read my blog, but especially women, mm-hmm. uh, women who are particular about their health and how they look Mm. and um, I okay so I want to like I said in the beginning I want to inspire people and women to go around bareface Mm. I want you to feel confident being yourself Mm. nothing changed about you with your scars and your stretch marks and your cellulite I want you to feel beautiful that way so mainly it's women and then there are some men that come and they read about Truth Thursdays and they'll read about food. Mm. So if you're a foodie, my blog is the right place for you. <laughs> Students especially because most of the things that I talk about are budget stuff. So you can find a 20 rand meal on my blog. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, and but in the beginning it was, I honestly believe it was my mother, my boyfriend and my friends. that mm. <laughs> Those are the people reading it in the beginning. But now it's grown and it's women, students and... People in the working class, 30s going down. So from 16 to 30, that's that age range. Do you think being a blogger is a viable career? I know I've had this sexual conversation with (laughs) you, you know, outside of this space, but, you know, going forward, do you think that as a blogger, it's something that you can do just being a blogger or is it something that has to work in conjunction with another career, for example? Well, I think... It, I think it is a viable career. Mm. So um, right now for me, it's still a hobby, but um, New Kid on the Block can be a brand. Yeah. It, it can move into, I don't know, uh, it can move into protein powders. It can move into, so it's, it's a gateway to other things. Yeah. Mm. You can start doing fitness videos for people. It's just a way to help other people. And it is a viable career. There's so many people there out there that just do that. They now have makeup lines. They now have fashion lines just from blogging. Mm. Um, it just it takes a lot of time and energy and a lot of patience. You will have the most beautiful post to yourself. You'll think it's the greatest thing you've ever done and you will have 100 readers. When that other post that you weren't very confident about has a thousand readers. Yeah. So it takes patience and you need to be passionate about it. If it's something you're just doing because ah, everyone else is doing it, mm. it won't go far. Yeah. But I think to start, it can be something you do as a hobby. And if it grows into something as you grow, then that's that's great. Okay. At least that's what I want. And in the <laughs> blogosphere, mm-hmm. if there's such a thing in the yes, blogosphere, you know, who, who, who are you watching? Who are you reading? Who are you looking at? You know. Well, unfortunately, there aren't um, that many South African bloggers yeah. that I'm watching because um, when I initially started blogging, when I was reading all these blogs and doing my research on whether or not I'd be good at this, I couldn't actually find a lot of South African or Zimbabwean bloggers online yeah. and there isn't really a platform where you can go and say okay so South African bloggers and the list comes up yeah. as opposed to UK bloggers there are a lot of platforms where you can actually just go there and find them mm. but in South Africa there's Pink Peony she talks about beauty and mostly makeup but she talks about other things to hair mm-hmm. care she talks about where you can buy certain things online and then there's Slim Thick Diva she's from Zim uh, but she is based in Canada mm. And there's Shirley Bean Yang. She is my absolute inspiration. Her, <laughs> her style is minimal, but just it's 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 beautiful. And she she actually went to university. She has a degree, and she started when she was in varsity. And then she just decided to make it a career. So that is actually what she does now. Okay. And who else? Okay, I, I don't remember most of them off the bat. Ca- uh, cupcakes and cashmere. Yeah. She's also someone who got bored and was uninspired at her workplace. She just decided to start blogging, and now she actually has a fashion line. Oh mm. wow! Oh, and then nice. there's Tanya Burr and Zola. These are people who on YouTube have up to three million, six million mm. subscribers on their channels and their blogs. Mm. 
6 million people who watch you every single day, 6 million people you're inspiring and reaching. Yeah. And she started the, what is it called? I forgot. But it's sort of, she was saying to all bloggers, let's not just talk about beauty and fashion, let's talk about things that actually affect people on a daily basis. Uh, so let's talk, about, let's talk about global warming. Mm. So that's, which is one of the reasons, What this is, which is what inspired my latest blog post was about breast cancer. Yeah. So let's talk about things that are affecting people. Let's educate people because we have a wider reach than I don't know, maybe people who are 18 don't actually read newspapers. Some of them don't like watching the news. I was guilty when I was younger. I hated the news. So you are a platform that can reach younger audiences and a whole lot of other different people in different parts of the world. So. Okay. So Fufu has an idea. You no, know. Okay. She, she, she believes that you know, she's got the, she's, she, what she has to say, people are going to read this stuff. Okay. What would you tell her? You know, because she's afraid, you know, no one is going to read my stuff, or she's afraid that, uh, you know, it doesn't do what I'm saying, does it really matter? Yeah. You know, she keeps procrastinating. Yeah, no, I'm going to Yeah, start he's it. reading my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what would you, what would you say? First and foremost, to someone like that? stop procrastinating, just jump in there and do it. Uh, yeah. Like you, I. I'm a perfectionist, so at first I was worried. What if it doesn't look as pretty? Just get a jump in there and start. Once you start, you learn new things every day. It's like anything else. It's like, let's say it's like riding a bike. When you start, you're going to fall a couple of times. And then once you're good at it, you'll be great at it. You just need to put enough time into it. 10,000 hour rule. If you put 10,000 hours into whatever it is you're doing, sometimes it's not just about talent, it's about the amount of time energy that you're going to put into something and when it comes to fear yes at first most probably only your friends will read it but um if you shout loud enough people will hear you they will hear your voice and you might think that people aren't going to be interested in whatever it is you have to say but trust me there is going to be that one person and because the world is such a big place there will be millions of people who are interested in what you have to say you will inspire some little girl out there they'll hear your voice. Just shout loud enough. Mm. So go out there and... That's deep. Yeah, it. that's deep. <laughs> that is deep. Do, 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 do you feel inspired? <laughs> yes, I was. Oh. Of course. That's what we do on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, people that want to... Before I ask, because the last thing we want to know is where are you going? Mm. But, you know, before we get to that actual spot, how can people, you know, get, you know, to see what you're doing? The actual name of the blog, how can they access it? Twitter, Facebook, all that. Okay, um, uh, my blog name is newkidontheblog.co.za. Just Google it, I'm sure it will come up. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> and then you can follow me on Instagram, it's Miriam underscore new kid on the block. On Facebook, it's new kid on the block. And Twitter, it's Miriam Chipo7. Yes, that's my Twitter handle. Hopefully, I'll be able to change it soon so that everything is the same yeah. um you can email me i am always so happy to hear from people i'm always so happy to answer any questions that you might have you can email me at mc maulana which is m-a-u-l-a-n-a -A -A at gmail.com so yes i'm on facebook instagram stumble upon them <laughs> pinterest <laughs> i'm out here so yes just choose a platform and i will reply if you contact me okay cool yes last one what are your plans for the future yes. is there a youtube channel yes is there, is there is there an expansion into i don't know another blog like you know are you going to be the face of revlon <laughs> like, what's going on well the future wow okay so my five-year plan oh, oh okay <laughs> no okay. guys i'm joking <laughs> okay um so i'm going to do this law thing guys i'm going to become a lawyer come health and rain sunshine and everything else that is thrown at me mm. i will become a lawyer so there's that and then on the blogosphere uh i am planning to start a youtube channel hopefully in december why december because exams are coming up and i think when you start something you need to be consistent that's the mm. only way that people um follow you because they want consistency everyone likes consistency yeah. so De December is when I'm going to start the YouTube channel. I am still doing some research on how to make sure that I bring the best content out there. And I want it to be bigger. I want to have skincare products because acne and the insecurity that came with having acne impacted my life so much. So I want to help teenagers out there. I want to help. It has to be inexpensive too. 
So there's a lot that I think my platform can do. So I'm excited for that. Okay. But yeah, that's what I have for now. Okay, cool. That's it from my side. Yeah, and in terms of exams, I know you're going to be writing exams. Um, some tips, your coping mechanisms for our listeners? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, get some rest, obviously. <laughs> but I know I'm one of those people that aren't very good with get, taking a moment to sleep or having my eight hours of sleep when it's exam yeah. time so if you're not that person drink loads and loads of water i know people don't like water you can add a cucumber you can add strawberry you can add lemon to your water it will taste better keep hydrated um eat healthy if you eat healthy remember if you take care of your body your body will work with you but if you're going to feed it junk it will work against you so mm-hmm. try your best to treat your your body good and it will work with you and exams will be great write things down a to-do list is the one thing that billionaires out there have they make a to-do list and they push themselves to achieve the things on their to-do list even if you have a hundred things trust me you'll manage to achieve at least 10 if you're looking at it uh plan your day out give yourself a chance to watch uh some shonda action <laughs> <laughs> And um, when you're feeling stressed, take a walk, go out for lunch, go out for a drink, do something that you love. If you like taking long showers, do that. Take a moment to yourself. And there are also exam tips and study tips on the blog. And hopefully before the end of SWAT week, I am going to add printables. That means a to-do list that you can just print and add on your Mm -hmm. exam timetable, your your to-do list. So they're going to be printables that you can print from the blog soon. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm it's, so nervous. Is it? No, it's, it's, it's okay. We're all nervous. I'm, I, I, still, I still get nervous every time I come okay. to the studio. So, so it's yeah. not just me. <laughs> um, to read more on what she thinks, go to newkidontheblog.co.za. Thank you again, Marion, for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank Up you. next, Thank we you. have Eva Wondered. 89.7 FM.